Hello everyone who is watching the channel. Today, we will embark on an unprecedented journey, an in-depth and realistic look into the world of the modern livestock and meat processing industry. This is where hundreds of thousands of animals are systematically raised, on a large scale and processed using state-of-the-art technological lines, all to serve the growing demand for meat consumption around the world, not just the green fields or cramped barns of the past. Today's industry has grown to a level that surprises even the most imaginative minds. Farms of hundreds of hectares in size, raising hundreds of thousands of pigs, cows, chickens in the same automatic cycle. Every day, thousands of tons of feed are pumped into the system. Every week, tens of thousands of animals are checked for health, vaccinated, and then put into the meat production process in clean. Cold factories but full of life of modern mechanical and technical lines. We start at the main gate of a modern industrial farm in the US. Here, there are no human shouts. No scenes of farmers holding hoes and shovels like in the movies. Instead, there are high fences, biological quarantine stations, facial recognition cameras, and a series of disinfection procedures for anyone who wants to step into the farming area inside. The barn system is built with prefabricated steel frames. Insulated domes, air conditioning and a software controlled ventilation system. Thousands of breeding pigs lie quietly in separate pens. They are equipped with health monitoring chips and automatic vaccination schedules. Sensors mounted under the floor monitor feces and urine to detect early signs of disease. Everything operates synchronously. Accurate to the minute. Next is the industrial chicken farming area. Hundreds of thousands of chickens are raised in closed houses, without sunlight, only LED lights set according to biological cycles. Automatic feeders follow rails, distributing feed to each row. Weight sensors monitor the growth of each group of chickens. In 38 days, from an egg, chickens can reach a weight of 2.5 to 3 kilograms ready for slaughter. On the other side of the land is the beef cattle area. The cows are raised in semi-open, covered barns and sand yards. They are fed hay imported from neighboring states, mixed with protein and mineral supplements all mixed by machine and delivered to the cow's mouths by automatic carts. Each cow can gain up to 1.5 kilograms slash day during the fattening period. Inside the factory, each line operates like a tireless machine, day and night. Thousands of workers work in three shifts to maintain production. In the pork processing area, modern machines handle up to 80% of the workload, from chopping, deboning, cutting fat to shaping products according to requirements. The robotic arms operate precisely to the millimeter. The speed of each robotic arm can process up to 30 pieces of meat per minute, thanks to integrated sensors and AI. They are able to recognize meat quality, fat thickness and adjust the blade to best suit.
When detecting defects such as bruised meat, green spots, or unusual tumors, the robot immediately removes that piece of meat from the line and sends it to the quality control area. Meanwhile, the chicken area operates at a dizzying speed. It can process 120 chickens per minute. From the time the chicken is hung on the conveyor belt to packaging, it only takes about 45 minutes. Each step has a surveillance camera. AI technology analyzes movements, detects errors, and immediately sends a warning to the operating supervisor. The employees here wear white uniforms, gloves, masks, and hoods. They must go through an ozone sterilization chamber, step on a disinfectant mat, and then enter the production area. Any violation of hygiene standards will be strictly punished. Even suspended from work. In another area of the factory is the deep processing area, where the meat after being classified will be seasoned, ground, and molded into sausages, hamburgers, or convenient products. The spice mixer can hold up to one ton of meat slash mixing, with a computer-controlled micro-spraying system to ensure that every gram of salt, pepper, and additives meets the exact standards. The sausage molds are extruded through a high pressure system, then fed into a giant steamer or smoker. Each batch can cook up to 5.000 sausages at a time. From there, they are cooled by a deep freeze fan system, then packaged using automatic vacuum technology, labeled with a QR code according to the production batch and transferred to a cold storage warehouse. The internal transportation system in the factory does not use human power. Instead, AGVs run continuously between areas like diligent ants. They transport meat trays, finished product boxes, and shipments between workshops without stopping. The export packaging area is strictly secured. Refrigerated containers are constantly checked for temperature via sensors and remote control systems, before being sealed. The entire container is scanned through a germicidal ultraviolet chamber. Each container is equipped with GPS to monitor the transportation journey from the warehouse to the seaport. Millions of dollars are invested every year in production management software systems, from ERP, SCM to blockchain. Thanks to that, the company can track exactly each batch of meat, where the animal was raised, what it ate, how it was vaccinated, when it was slaughtered, at what temperature, all contained in a single QR code. When the product reaches the consumer, they can scan the code and know exactly the entire process. Not only serving the domestic market, these factories are also the brains of exporting meat to more than 60 countries. America, Europe, Japan, Korea, all have strict inspection standards, but with modern technology and strict processes.
These factories meet all of them. Behind the cold lights is the story of the people who have contributed to maintaining a giant system. There are young engineers fresh out of college. Veterans with more than 20 years of experience. Experts in microbiology. Veterinary medicine. Automation, all forming a network that operates smoothly and steadily like a Swiss watch. Every day. They come to work at 5 a.m. and finish at midnight. Sometimes, production shifts last 12 hours without a break. Because delivery contracts to foreign supermarkets cannot be delayed by even an hour. One slow link means the whole chain stops, and that is something no one can allow to happen. Food is no longer a personal matter. but part of a global supply chain. A hot dog in Tokyo may be made from pork raised in Iowa. A beef patty in a burger in New York may come from a farm in Texas, be processed at a factory in Kansas, and be delivered to the burger joint in just 48 hours. It all depends on precision, speed, and safety. When the animals reach the desired weight, they are Loaded onto covered trucks and transported to the on-site processing plant, just a few hundred meters away to reduce stress and ensure the quality of the meat after slaughter. At the processing plant, the process begins with the reception and stunning area. The CO2 gas or electric anesthesia system helps to make the animal lose consciousness within seconds, both humane and hygienic. Then, the automatic robots will carry out the butchering process, cutting the neck hanging on a hook, bleeding. Skinning, cutting open the abdomen, and removing the organs. Machines replace most of the manual labor. The 3D scanning system accurately determines the cutting point on the animal's body to maximize meat yield. The meat pieces are classified by artificial intelligence, automatically packaged by vacuum, labeled with QR codes to trace their origin, and immediately transferred to cold storage. Every day, the factory processes up to 10.000 pigs. five point zero 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 cows and hundreds of thousands of chickens the total output can reach hundreds of tons of meat per day all are transported by refrigerated containers to supermarkets restaurants and even for export at the warehouse automatic robots stack thousands of boxes of meat on shelves more than 10 meters high the deep freeze system helps keep meat fresh for the longest time Orders are processed automatically through the ERP system, ensuring no mistakes and on-time delivery. Meanwhile, waste from the production process, such as as blood, bones, organs, is transferred to the auxiliary factory to make meat powder, animal feed or raw materials for cosmetics and veterinary medicine. Even the waste water from the factory is not wasted. The closed industrial water treatment system helps recycle 70% of the water for washing barns and watering plants around the area. In the administrative area, quality control experts continuously monitor microbiological indicators, antibiotic residues, 
and the cleanliness of each batch of meat. Any deviations are recorded and easily traced thanks to the blockchain and AI managed. system. We will continue our journey deeper, from the white uniformed workers working under the cold lights of the factory, to the engineers operating the robotic systems. From the veterinary staff to the logistics team that transports meat hundreds of kilometers every day. This is not just the food industry, but also a vital link in the global economy, where technology Humans and animals are closely linked to serve the meals of billions of people. The deeper we go into the system, the more we see the coldness of technology, but at the same time we feel the greatness of development. From a small animal born in a cage, raised, cared for, slaughtered, processed, packaged, transported, all just to become a dish on the plate. That process is a combination of biology, engineering, technology, and the labor of thousands of people. From the moment an animal is born, all data related to it is recorded in a centralized management system. With pigs, the process starts at the breeding farm. The best sows, with stable genetic resources, high fertility, and good disease resistance will be selected for breeding. Each so has it's an electronic chip attached under the skin, containing all information, date of birth, litter, number of piglets born, health status. When it comes to mating, Insemination is done entirely by artificial methods. Sperm from the breeding bull is collected in the laboratory and strictly tested for quality. Only after it meets the requirements is the sperm put into use. This process minimizes the risk of spreading disease and allows for effective genetic selection. Piglets are given a unique identification code at birth. Checked for congenital defects. Given their first vaccination and weighed periodically to assess growth rate. Those that do not develop to the required standards are removed from the meat chain. Not wasting resources. The pig diet is programmed by... St